Okay, here's a comparison test between the uh, IRF PG50 MOSFET down at the bottom on the bottom heat sink and the 2SK1548 uh, MOSFET that I've been using for many of my tests up here on the top. I've put a big slide switch in there and I've got it's a triple pole double throw slide switch. So I'm switching all three leads, even the ground lead, uh, between the two MOSFETs by using this switch. Right now it's running on the bottom MOSFET, the IRF PG50. It's running at a duty cycle of about 5% coming from the function generator. Okay, And as we already know from uh, the previous video, uh, this trace here indicates that the bulb is off, on, off, on, off. Right? Okay. Now I'm going to switch to the other MOSFET and I want you to see what the trace does. Boing! There you go. You see, oh, this bottom trace, by the way, is the integral of that trace. And since it's not climbing, there's not a buildup of energy. Um, anyway, uh, <clears throat> see how much spikier that signal is on the trailing edge there of that pulse? Let me get some more uh, resolution in there. Right? See that nice ring and that nice spike? And there's uh, one uh, recirculation diode. That's the MU. Uh, 1100E, that's no diode, and that's the other one, the 1N4007. The diodes really have more of an effect on the input trace than they do on the load trace. So we'll just leave it with the MUR1100E uh, there, and now I'll switch back to the uh, IRFPG50 MOSFET. There, boing. And all that nice spikiness and ring down kind of goes away. Uh, <laughs> So if you want, uh, I mean, you can get spikes in there, sure, but uh, if you want spikes and inductive ring down, use this other MOSFET. It's uh, the IRF, or rather the uh, 2SK1548. Uh, 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 it costs about one quarter of the price of the IRF PG50, and the only uh, problem that I've found with it is that it tends to get a little bit warmer uh, than the other one, which is not surprising because uh, all that stuff is uh, recirculating through the MOSFET as well as through the load. Right. And that's the IRF PG50. That's the 2SK1548. Uh, and uh, that's with uh, no other changes at all. That's just switching, uh, switching the MOSFETs. Uh, the top one's the 1548. The bottom one down there is the IRF. And there's the big slide switch that switches between them. Okay, that's it.